So today we have yet another GSAP scroll trigger text animation that looks really, really cool. Today's video, we're going to be doing this highlighting text effect. Now, as I scroll down this page, you're going to see how this text is being highlighted. If I scroll this a little bit up, you can see how there is something happening just underneath there. But as the user scrolls, you can see how the text is being animated. Now, if I scroll a little bit more, you can see that effect still going on with this page. It's a great text effect to really make the clients look at exactly what you're saying on that page. And of course, as you scroll up, you can see how the text animation is going in reverse as well. And yes, this does work in mobile. So let me show you how to build this easy text animation. So here in the Elementor Page Builder, all I'm going to do is I'm going to flesh out a page real quick for this example. We're going to be using three containers. Two of them was the spaces really so that the text has a chance to actually enter the screen and also leave the screen. So let me just start this off. I'm going to add in my main container where I'm going to put in those three containers. This one doesn't really matter how it's actually structured too much. This is just for my design. You don't have to copy this exactly. So over here, I'm going to make sure that the content width is full width. I'm going to make sure it's 100%. The advanced, I'm going to say zero padding. And then under style again, I'm going to choose an actual background for this. I'm going to go with this Apple Watch over here, I'm going to say select. Then the position, I'm going to say center, center. Attached can be fixed. Repeat, none, and cover. Now that I have my background all sorted out, I'm going to add in those three containers. So I'm going to click on this plus sign over here. And this container, click and drag it across until it's inside that container, and then let go. Now that it's in here, I'm just going to go and duplicate it two more times. Then like I had said, the first one and the last one is just going to be spaces. So this last one, while it's here and I'm in it, I'm just going to give it a VH of 100. And I'm going to do the same thing for the first one. So click on that, change min height to VH and 100. All right, now that that's out the way, this middle container is where all the action is going to happen. So I'm going to change this one from box to full width. And then I'm also going to give it a min height of 100. You don't have to do this particular part over here. It's just my style of actually making out a section. You can actually have this add like a 50 VH or no VH settings at all. And you just put out your content and it'll still work. Okay, so now that it's a VH of 100, I'm going to put the direction to horizontal because I'm going to have some text and an image over here. Then what we're going to have to do over here is under advanced, we're going to give this a CSS class name. Now the class name that I'm going with is highlight container. Okay, so now that we've got the class name, now I'm just going to add in my inner containers. So click the plus sign, take container, let go, and then duplicate that one. Now that I have my two, I'm going to quickly put the image on the right hand side. Image widget, select image, I'll go with this one. And then on the left hand side, I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to take the heading, click across, let go. I'm going to change the style to white. I'm going to put it center aligned. Once I've changed my style, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to give this a class name. So now the class name that I'm going with this one is my GSAP trigger. So this is what the code's going to be looking for to actually animate. There isn't many more settings that we have to do. It's just the two CSS class names and then the code. So what I'm going to do over here for the styling a little bit more, I think I want to have both these things just more center aligned. So what I'm going to do is go into the container and then I'm just going to make sure that under layout, I make the align item center. So now that's how it's going to be looking like as it's scrolling up and down. Now that we have the container all fleshed out, the final thing we're going to need is the HTML widget, and that's going to house the code. So click on a plus sign, say HTML, go to the bottom of the page, click and drag this across and let go. Now to get the code for this tutorial, there's going to be a link in the description of this video that's going to take you to the reference page on my website. If you click on that link, this is how the page is going to look roundabout. If you scroll down, this is the code that we are looking for. So all we have to do is click copy on the right hand side here. We go back into the editor and we just paste it. And that is it. It's done. So now if we click publish and we go view it in the front end. Okay, so now here in the front end, as we scroll down, you can see that this effect is starting to happen here. But this isn't exactly what I showed you. Now to make it look like that effect like I showed in the beginning of this tutorial, very easy to do. So now if we go back into the editor, we go look for the heading and under the color, the color that you've selected, you can just bring it down to more of a transparent color like this so that it starts blending in for something to be highlighted. So now that I have my transparency all set up, now you'll see how it'll look like in the front end. So now if I scroll down again, you can see that now it's being highlighted a lot better. 
Now, if you don't want it to be white, if you don't want this text to actually highlight as white, in the Elementor editor, we go down to the HTML widget. And now at the bottom of the script, you can see that here's the color that you can change. Now, this says white there. All you have to do is change that to any hex code that you want. If you want it to stagger just a little bit more than one character, you can up the stagger amount here and then it'll affect more than one character at a time. Another thing that you might want to change is the start and end. So if you're not happy with where the animation starts on the screen, you can just up and down these percentages as well as where it finishes. So mine finishes at about there. That means at the end, it does have to go about 55% more on the page. But that you can bring it up, bring it down to really hone in whatever text that you're busy highlighting. And last thing, just to note, if you go and change the H tag of this, because this now is set to H2, you're going to have to actually update it in the code. So here we've got the highlight container. If you go a little bit more, you can see that there's my GSAP trigger, which is the CSS class name of the title, and it's looking for the H2. If you change this heading, if I go to the content, HTML tag, if I change this to H1, then in the code, I'm just go over to that. Then this particular reference point over here, I just change that H2 to H1. And if I publish, you'll see that it's still actually working there. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.